Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog. So it is day two of our Disney vacation vlog with myself and my mom. Say hello mom. Hey. <laughs> so we have our matching outfits again today. I'm just going on camera just so y'all can see. So we have the pinkish reddish um, shirts and then I have some black leggings on and mom is going to be wearing some capris with her tennis shoes because she learned yay to always wear tennis shoes to the park. Right, Mom? Yep. <laughs> but anyway, so we are about to head out. We are going to Epcot. Now, if you do not know what Epcot is, it is one of the four theme parks within Disney. And what I like about Epcot is because they have different countries there, and you can um, learn all about their cultures and everything. So there is Canada, there's United States, China, Japan... Germany, Norway, um, Morocco, I think. But there's like a ton of stuff. And then you can go to their souvenirs. You can buy whatever you want there. You can try different um, foods and drinks. And I'm not sure if it's the food festival this time, this week. I think I've heard that it was. But I will let y'all know for sure. I'll be vlogging all day. And I hope y'all are enjoying these vlogs. If you are then hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up and let me know that y'all are liking these videos because I love to vlog. I love to show y'all the day in the life of me. And I also love to cherish these memories. So I will have these memories on my YouTube channel in case I want to go and watch it back. And also the 2019 videos are going to be listed down below in the description. This is when Jared and I went for the very first time. Super, super excited, so it's actually really fun, like, reminiscing, like, oh, me and Jared went there, and all that stuff. So, that is really fun, but anyways, um, we are about to head out. Epcot doesn't open until 11 o'clock. Magic Kingdom opened at 9 yesterday, but this theme park it doesn't open until 11. I've heard that they can open an hour early, but they are also staying open until 7. So, that's going to be really fun. Our goal is to just walk around, probably going to buy a lot of snacks because I'm thinking about doing a video with Jared and I, maybe a, a Q&A of our couples, like if you want to get to know us better as a couple, as an individual, so leave those questions down below and I will for sure get them so we can do a Q&A with trying different snacks from different countries. But anyway, so we are going to get all of our stuff and then head on over to the park. All right, you guys, so we are in Epcot and it is the Food and Wine Festival, which I am super excited. So we are over at with the big fog. I don't even remember what it's called, but yeah. All right, I gotta go because mom will be here. So I'll see y'all in a minute. So I have no idea where we are going to go first. I haven't even looked at the map. And it is a smaller park. It's mostly the, as I said, the countries and stuff. So we'll see. Mom, do you want to ride rides or walk around the countries first? Yes, I'm walking around first. Okay, so she wants to just walk around now. But anyway, all right. I will see y'all once we get to our first destination. So we are going to Spaceship Earth right now. It's a slow, dark ride, so fitting, fitting for Mama. Anyway, so. Um, it actually is not even a 11 o'clock right now, so I don't know when we're going to get in. They might open it early, so that would be fun. And we're like one of the first few people here, so that's going to be exciting. Here we go. Here we go. We're going into space. What is this? Space. I don't even remember what I said. It's too dark, Mom. A very slow and dark ride. Rotating backward. Please remain seated. Attention. You are now rotating Video, 
All right, so we just got done with the spaceship Earth. Mom, what'd you think of it? It's not. I like it. It's actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually super dark, but it was really cute. I, I didn't ride this ride, but it was only like, literally did not have to wait any time. We just had to wait until the park actually opened. But they opened 20 minutes early. So anyways, we're going to go look for a restroom and then see where we're going. Because there's not a lot of rides here. Um, and we'll figure it out from there. No? All right, you guys. So mama's already tired. <laughs> but anyway, so we are going to Soaring Around the World, which is really fun. It's like a 3D simulation kind of and you get to sit and it's like feels like you're flying over water and through the mountains and everything mom will probably not gonna like it but <laughs> she's gonna enjoy it i'll make her but anyway so we are heading over there and then we'll probably go to the food and wine festival after that and i found this really pretty waterfall super pretty we just took a picture in front of it so but i had to document it We're in the imagination ride. Alright, so we made a pit stop to the imagination and Mama loved it. Right, Mom? Very colorful and it was a slow ride for her. But anyway, so we made a pit stop to imagination because there was not a wait time. Now we are going to go to um, soaring through the world or soar, uh, something like that. But anyways, so we got to go find it. I have no idea where it's at. I thought we were close, but I guess we're not. But anyways, so we're going to go and find it. So we just got here and it's about a 15 minute wait. So we're super excited, right mom? Yes. So I probably won't be able to film it because it is a 3D and it's like, it's gonna be jerking us around and everything I think, but it'll be fun. So we will update you whenever we get out. So. All right, so we just got done with the soaring and it was pretty funny because every time we would switch countries, um, mom would close her eyes, but in all, she enjoyed it. Right, mom? Yep. Uh-huh. So we are heading to the food and wine festival now, and we're going to walk around, look at souvenirs. We're also going to try some food, and hopefully in all the countries, but we'll see. We ate breakfast at like, what time did we eat? Around eight or so, eight or nine. So we are just going to see what we want, and then I will film as much as I can when we get there. Here is the Food and Wine Festival. It's super cute. I love it. So that was pretty cute. It was Ratatouille themed, which Ratatouille is my favorite movie of all time. I absolutely love it. Probably because it's cooking and I love to cook and I like watching the Food Network channel and everything. But I thought that was cute. I wonder if that's the theme for this year. It's Ratatouille. I'm not sure if there is a theme. So I thought that was pretty cool, but yeah, it's actually a lot hotter than yesterday. Magic Kingdom was not as hot as it is today, and I am in long black leggings like, uh, right now. <laughs> so we are in line for Mexico. I'm not sure what we're going to get. You either can get, um, I'm reading the menu right now, ribeye, tacos, or pork, tostada. They have different beverages, but we're just, we have our waters to save money. So we're going to try, Mom, do you want the ribeye taco or the pork tostada? Yeah, we guess get that one. Yeah, we Which one? Pork tostada. Pork tostada, is that yeah, what you want to try? Ready. Okay, so that's what we're going to try. I'm going to switch the screen around just so you can see. So there's the Mexico. So we're going to try the pork tostada, which is $6.75, which is fine. But anyways, yep. And we are going to do a taste test, a live taste test, hopefully, if Mama wants to. And that's it. So this is our ribeye uh, taco that we had. So it has steak, onions, I don't, uh, this, the sauce, I don't know what the sauce is. And then we have some lime to squeeze over it. I'm going to do, but Mama's going to cut it in half and then we're going to try it. Alright, so I'm going to actually just try the steak because it's a little messy. That 
that's actually really good. I like the steak. It's tender. Um, the sauce is actually like a tomato-based sauce, but it's actually really, really good. So, good job, Mexico, for starting it off really, really well. So, we're actually going into this temple that's across from Mexico. No idea what it is. I've never been in here. I think it's like a cocoa thing. Oh, it is so pretty. I'm going to turn you on. Look at that. That's so cool. Never been in here before. Look at that. That's so cool. Look, it's Coco. I love Coco. That movie's so cute. I actually cried. That's so cool. So I think it's like different shops, maybe, but Coco themed. So that is super cool. Look at that. That's neat. Let's see what we can find here. Hopefully we're not going to spend too much money. So we are walking down to do the Grand Fiesta Tour. It has Donald Duck and a couple of other characters. So that's what we're doing. Never have, never been to this ride. So hopefully it's fun. I feel very claustrophobic. <laughs> but it's going to be great, you guys. Hopefully I can film inside. Here we go. We're in it. And Mom and I got our own seat, right, Mom? Bienvenidos para su seguridad. Permanezca sentado. Mantenga las manos. That's so cool. Oh, look. We were right over there, actually. Just right over there. Isn't that cool? Even though they are fake, but they are so pretty, the arrangement and everything. And we have some fireworks. This is really cool. Now you like it? Ball. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? It has Olaf. So this is the sweet bread or school bread. It has the bread, coconut, some icing, and then Olaf to top off with. I'm not sure if he's, he looks like he's edible. I'm going to try it though. So I'm going to try the sweet bread. So I got some of the bread, the coconut, and the cream inside of it. So we're going to try it. It's pretty good. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be because of the custard and the, the coconut, but it's a really good balance of it. I really like it. Now, does this beat the 
um, steak tacos that we had, Mom. Mm -hmm. You like this better than the tacos? Wait. She's trying it right now. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You like it better than Mexico? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Mm. That's the verdict. We like Norway's uh, school bread than the uh, steak tacos. So mm -hmm. we're just going to rank them. Okay, Mom, we're going to rank them mm -hmm. how we like this. So this one's at number one. We've only been to two places, Mexico and Norway. Mm -hmm. Norway's number one with the school bread, and then Mexico's number two with the steak tacos. So we're just going to finish eating that, walk around a little bit more, and then try some more food, go shopping and everything. So it's going to be really fun. And we're going to take you along the way. All right, you guys, so we just finished our sweet bread, and our next stop is China. So that's going to be really exciting because, you know, Mom is Asian, I'm half Asian, so we're going to thoroughly enjoy China. I'm not sure what we're going to have. Maybe they'll have dim sum. Dim sum is really good. I hope they have some of that. Fingers crossed. Who knows? But yeah, Mama wants another picture now, so I will be right back while we are going to China. We're catching uh, Mickey and Minnie in their car. There's Mama waving. <laughs> and Pluto is guiding them. No, Goofy is. Oh my god, why did I say Pluto? So we actually decided that we are going to go on the Frozen ride because this is what I really, really wanted to go on. The last time I was there last year, it was like outrageous. The wait time was almost like three hours long. This is only a 40 minute wait, so it's not bad. I think this is our longest wait time. So not completely terrible. So this is what we're going to do. Finally do it. Check it off my bucket list for Disney and yeah. Hopefully I can film in here because I've never been in here and I would love to video it so I can capture the memories. Any of my Game of Thrones fans right here. Never seen an episode in my life. So pretty. I love seeing waterfalls. And then the architect on this is or design is really, really pretty. Usually it's about a two hour wait, but super, super fun. Absolutely loved it, you know, sing along and everything. I knew all the songs, of course. Mama, it was funny because Mama didn't know it was a water ride. I didn't know either. And we got wet, so it was pretty fun though. Definitely have to go and try it again. Hopefully if we have time, we can do it. Right, Mom? Do you want to go again? No. She don't want to go again because she gets wet. But I want to go again. <laughs> So we are in China and we are thinking about getting the chicken and dumplings. I kind of want to try the beef bun, but maybe I'll try that next time. That's $4.95. We can try the chicken and dumplings first. So waiting at the kiosk and we're going to try the chicken and dumplings. And here is the scenic, the aesthetic for here in um, China. All right, so this is our chicken and dumpling. So it has two dumplings with some coleslaw on top. I don't know what the sauce is. But Mama's going to try it first. Here, Mama, you try it. And we'll video it. <laughs> we kind of wanted the buns, but we're going to try this. I do. Like it, Mom? Mm -hmm. What's the flavor? Chicken? Vegan? Sour. What's better? This? Or the school bread. I don't know. I don't know. You like the school bread? Yeah. From it. Norway. She's gonna try the slaw. Hmm. Good. Mm, try it too. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna turn around and try it. All right. So. Mm -hmm. you wanna hold it for me, mom? Mm -hmm. All right. 
What's the sauce? Is it like chili or something? Mm-mm. Sounds huh? really good. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is really good. I think I like this one better than the school bread. Yeah. Probably because these remind me of, because these are dumplings, they also remind me of pox, hot stickers that um, the stores sell. So, I really like this one. I think this is my number one. And then Norway's my number two with the school bread. And then number three is the tacos. So, we're just going to finish this. And then, I don't know what's the next one. We're going to uh, walk around China for a little bit. And look at the shops and hopefully find some snacks for um, Jared and I. Gonna go tour China a little bit. I remember this. I think China was probably my favorite, like, cultural-wise. Because of the whole design and everything. I really liked it. Finding some snacks for our video. Except some of this. I'm not going to show you everything that I got, but... It'll be fun to do it. Oh, look at those. Those are so pretty. Oh, I've seen these gin gardens. And look at those. So cute. Hello, Panda. So good. I like the chocolate flavored ones, though. Shrimp crackers are always good, but look at these chips that I found. They're Lay's chips. Thinking about getting some. Alright, we just left the China shop. Got the goods. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, but y'all will have to comment a question down below for Jared and I so we can answer them and try these snacks. Alright, so we just got into the... Uh, China like attraction. I think it's like China around the world or something like that. How it's been developed throughout the ages. So we're just sitting on these little benches and we're just waiting on the show to start. It's supposed to be started at 250. Exactly 250 right now. So we're just going to uh, what are you doing? <laughs> she, has to, she has to make sure she looks good. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you after the show. All right, so we just got out of the uh, China, like around the world or around China, getting those. It kind of reminded me of when I was in middle school and I was learning about the Terracotta Army, about China and everything, their culture, which was really fun. Mom enjoyed it. It was like a, you just stand there and you just look around, turn left, turn right, turn all the way around and they just show some like interesting facts and everything about how China came, came as it is right now really fun so now we're heading out to Germany and trying to find the kiosk at what whatever they're gonna serve but anyway super excited so we're gonna head there try to find a water fountain because we need to fill up our water bottles for real because I'm getting thirsty again and I do not want to pay five dollars for a water bottle for real all right so we're in line for Germany they have like some pasta dish they have um, a sausage dish and then they have an apple strudel and we are going to try the apple strudel. It's only four dollars. I can't even say that right. It's only four dollars, so that's what we are going to try today. It just sounds really good. I just didn't want the I didn't want the bratwurst because I don't like that sausage at all. And Mama said we can't have pasta. So next best thing is the apple strudel. <laughs> so there's the menu a little bit. I'm just going to zoom in. And we are going to be getting the apple strudel with vanilla sauce. So this is the apple strudel with the vanilla cream. Ma, you want to try it? Oh, it's so loud. Oh my gosh. says it's good. It's so loud. So I'm going to try it and then I will talk to y'all in a minute. Alright, so we're actually in a shop because we had to get out because it was raining. But the apple strudel was super good. I love the cream sauce that they had on it. Well, the vanilla stuff. But now we're in a German um, gift shop. 
So we are going to look around and everything and see what we can find here. Maybe get another Christmas gift for Jared, possibly, because he loves him some alcohol. I'm just, just saying. <laughs> All right, so we just left. I actually got Jared a Christmas present, which I'm not going to show y'all, but he's going to be really excited because it's something that he has talked about and he has accused me of something for it. So now I'm like <laughs> kind of replacing it maybe. I don't know, but it's actually for Christmas. So that's going to come out of my sinking funds. All right, so we was going to go to another German uh, gift shop, but apparently they're are only letting people who have pass holders in, which is which, which is sucks, I know, because they have a lot of the snacks in that store, but it's fine. I guess we just won't try any snacks from Germany. The village, the German village, super cute. So we're on our way to Italy. Italy is our next stop, and we're gonna grab some food. I did see somebody grab some like pizza, and that sounds really good also. So we are going to go and find a kiosk and get some pizza, probably. Alright, so we're going to get the margarita, which is a flatbed, kind of like a pizza, but it's a rustic Italian flatbread with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese, so pretty much a pizza. And that's $7.95, so we're going to try that. I think it comes with two pieces, so me and mom can have a slice. And it's, yeah, I did say it was $7.95, so that's what we're going to have, and yeah. We're gonna try it. We're in Italy. Why not? I really wanted pasta, but Mama said no again. All right, so we got our margarita, which is pizza. It's just flatbread with cheese and uh, marinara sauce or tomato sauce. So Mama's gonna be the first taste tester of that. And we got a bottle of water because we thirsty and we couldn't find a fountain. Go, Mom. See, it's very hot because it's out of straight from the oven. You like it? It's hot. Mm. It probably burnt her tongue. It's good, thank you. I'm about to try it though. It's uh, super, super hot right now. <laughs> so let's see. That thing's really good, Mom. It's really good. You can taste the um, how fresh the bread is because they make it. I think they make it here, but how fresh the bread is and the fresh cheese and everything. So super, super good. Highly recommend it. Um, I don't know if it's top three. But it is probably top three, but top one is probably still the dumplings, and then two is most likely the pizza. But. Uh, out of everything is pretty good. Apple strudel is probably at the very bottom now because I really didn't care for it because I mean you can get apple strudel from anywhere but mama just wanted it. So yeah isn't this pretty? Look at the um, Italian culture architect. It's really pretty. All right pizza was really good so we're still in Italy. We're going to try to get some snacks you guys. That's like my ultimate goal. I need snacks and it actually cleared up. It's not um, raining anymore, but the sun is beating down half of my face. So we're gonna go find some snacks, mom. And then I think we're gonna get ice cream later, maybe for our entry after we completed the food and wine festival. So that is our goal for today. Well, you guys, no luck. So we are heading to USA right now. USA is gonna have some snacks. Maybe I would grab some, maybe I don't. But we just took a couple of pictures in Italy and yeah, so yes, and then now we are heading to USA and yeah, let's see what they have to offer. So my glasses are fogging up, but we skipped over USA because essentially we live in USA and we already tried most of the food that they were offering. So we are heading to Japan. I think that is the next one. Oh, they have funnel cakes here. But anyways, so we are heading to Japan to see what they have to offer. And my glasses are fogging up right now. So, yeah, I will check back in a minute. All right, so we went to Japan and we got the sushi flower pot. And this was $6.75. So it looks really good. It has salmon, rice, 
and I have no idea what else, but it's going to be good because I love the sushi and Mama's going to keep the flower pot. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> All right, Mom, you want to try it? You go, boss. You go. Okay, well, I'm going to try it then. Hold on. All right, I'm going to try it. The sushi flower pot from Japan. Number one pick, as always, because it's sushi. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. Mom, you like it? Mm -hmm. okay. She don't really like it because it's cold. Right, Mom? Yeah, it's cold. I guess, get I guess she more. likes hers um, fried, maybe. Who knows? You guess yeah, get so, one more. Then that's cold. so we're going to enjoy this. I'm not sure what next mm. is. Maybe it's Morocco or something. I can't remember. I know we only have a couple of more um, countries left, and I'm fogging up again. But yeah, so. We're gonna eat the sushi and then hopefully go to a Japanese gift shop because those are always my favorite too. And then, yeah, so, all right. Guys, I used to love Hello Kitty, like obsessed with Hello Kitty. Like, I would collect anything that I can get my hands on with Hello Kitty, and they have come out with some cute stuff from it. But yeah, I love the Japanese place. It's so awesome. And I wish the um, custom jewelry was open. Like you get to pick your pearl and everything. Ooh, I like these bags. I'm just talking off the topic right now. <laughs> yeah, I really like love this place. Japan is definitely coming in hot with the snacks, so I got a couple of them for our video. Super excited. Uh, I've tried to get stuff that I have not tried yet, so this is going to be really, really fun to try all these snacks that I got. Then we're going to pick up the t-shirt for my brother and then probably head out to the next, to Morocco. Alright, so we are currently in Morocco. Here is the architect right here. I'm gonna go get some food. We are going to actually get, here's the menu right here. We're going to get the spicy hummus fries because it looks really good. Yeah, definitely. So we got the hummus, spicy hummus fries, which is typically the fries are hummus, which is chickpea. <laughs> Mama, I don't know if you've eaten chickpeas before, but if you like hummus, then you will like this. You wanna try it? <laughs> Mom, we can share. We come from the same DNA. Sure. Okay. All right, she's going to try the hummus. This was $8. Like a cornbread. Sort of. You like it or not? I know so. It's, she said it's okay. She's going to try the little slob topping thing. You like it or not? Anyway, that's, that's the last list. <laughs> last list? Mm -hmm. This one we're eating wrong. Oh, she doesn't like it. This is the very last bottom. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try it then. So, we got the hummus, spicy hummus fries, which is typically the fries are hummus, which is chickpea. <laughs> Mama, I don't know if you've eaten chickpeas before, but if you like hummus, then you will like this. You want to try it? <laughs> Mom, we can share. We come from the same DNA. Sure. Okay. Alright, she's going to try the hummus. This was $8. Like a cornbread. Sort of. You like it or not? It's, she said it's okay. She's going to try the little slob topping thing. You like it or not? Anyway, that's, that's the last list. <laughs> last list? Mm -hmm. This one we're eating wrong. Oh, she doesn't like it. This is the very last bottom. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try it then. The sun is really bad. Right, go there? So I'm going to try it. For health and safety of everyone, face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth. And we want it all time. Well, we it's not it. spicy. 
I like it. No. I'm going to take a picture of it. I need to go and take a picture of it real quick. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to eat this, and then I think the next one is... Um, I have no idea what the next one is. United Kingdom, maybe? I know Canada's last, and then United Kingdom. I think there's something in between Morocco, but I can't, I can't think of it. Alright, so we just finished eating our hummus, spicy hummus fries, and I thought it was really good. Mama, on the other hand, did not like it because it wasn't... It was spicy and it kind of tastes like corn milk to her, but yeah, I liked it, so that was really good. Probably top three. I think it, I think it's number two maybe. And then the uh, sweet bread from Norway. So now we are going to look at some shops and then hopefully we only have about two hours before it closes. So we're going to get as much stuff as possible in. So yeah, come on, let's go over here and show you this really pretty architect right here from uh, Morocco. I think it's really pretty and they have a fountain right there. On a mission to find some snacks but that's, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Me and Jared collect those uh, pennies. But I'm not going to collect them without him. Let's see. I hope they have snacks here but We'll see. So there's actually a new kiosk. I mean, we're literally right beside France, but there is Brazil. So Brazil either has pork belly or cheese bread. So we are going to get cheese bread for $4.50. So we're going to try that. I think mama wanted me to buy it so she can sit down, to be honest. So we are going to get some cheese bread. So here is the cheese bread and we are going to try it. I feel like this video is going to be very, very long with us just eating and eating and eating. So we are going to try this cheese bread and hopefully make it to France in a minute. Here is our tart. It's like French words. I have no idea, but it looks pretty good. So we are going to try it. We only have an hour before the park closes, so we got to hurry. We got two more to go yet. All right, so that puff or whatever it is it's super good so we are heading to go find some macarons if they have it here so that's the plan and then go to UK and Canada and then be done hopefully you guys all right so we made it to the UK and they didn't have any food strangely I didn't see a kiosk so now we're in Canada now we're going to figure out where the food is for Canada. If not, then we're going to go straight and find Mama a pretzel and get some ice cream and then head home. Right, Mom? Yep. We are tired. <laughs> Super tired. So we actually got two things from Canada. We got the flaming on with the uh, truffle butter and then Mama saw some pretzels. So she got the pretzel with the, I think the soup, bacon and cheese soup. Looks really good. We're going to try it. Yep. All right, guys, so we just finished up in Canada, which is the last one. I think Canada actually has two kiosks, but I'm not sure. We are stuffed. I had the steak with the truffle butter, and oh my god, it was so good. I think that is probably my number one. Mama had a uh, pretzel and the soup. She liked the soup, but she mostly liked the pretzel. So we are heading home. It's 625. The park closes at 7, and yeah, so... Let's just head home and relax. So, actually, Hawaii has a kiosk here, and I didn't notice that, but we're not going to eat there. It doesn't really sound appetizing to me, so I am waiting on Mama to get back from the bathroom, and we're going to head home. So, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Um, it's a very, very long vlog, and I'm very thankful for y'all for sticking through it. But day three and day four was probably going to be together, or day four and day five is probably going to be together. But thanks, you guys, and make sure you subscribe down below and let me know if you want to have more vlogs like this or any day in the life for me. But anyway.